Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market update dated the 25th of September, 2023. The Indian benchmark indices broke a four-day losing streak to end on a flat note in a highly volatile session on September 25th. At close, the Sensex was up 14.54 points or 0.02% at 66,023.69, and the Nifty was up 0.30 points at 19,674.55. Bajaj Finance, Tata Consumer Products, and Bajaj Finserve were among the top gainers on the Nifty while losers included Hindalco Industries, SBI Life Insurance, and Hero Moto Corp. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of Burger Paints India fell 8% on September 25 on low volumes, giving up the previous day's surge. The paints and coating giant saw its volume decline by as much as 60%, to 29 lakh shares from 75 lakhs traded at the exchanges on September 22. The burger paint stock had scaled its 52-week high of 679 rupees per share on September 22. Earlier, the company had fixed September 23 as the record date to ascertain eligibility of shareholders entitled for issue of bonus equity shares in the ratio 1 to 5, that is, one equity share of 1 rupee each for every 5 equity shares. Typically, companies issue bonus shares to encourage more retail investor participation or provide an alternative to issuing dividend payment for rewarding investors. Shares of Dixon Technologies slipped 1.4% to a one-month low of 4,738 rupees per share on September 25 following reports of the government deferring the import curbs on personal computers, laptops and tablets by the 9th of December months from October 30th. The stock price of this electronic device manufacturing service player has has so far skid 9.3% from its 50, two-week high of 5,225 rupees touched on September 5. The shares of Dixon Tech has shed 5% so far thins month as against a 2% gain in the benchmark Sensex. Shares of Zen Technologies have surged over 304% so far this fiscal as against an 8% gain in BSE Sensex. On September 25, the stock rallied 5% after the defense equipment manufacturer received orders, worth 227.6 rupees crore from the government, though the benchmark index traded flat. The huge rally saw the stock touch its 52-week high of 912 rupees on August 17. The company has been frequently winning orders from the government in recent days. The company secured orders of 123.3 rupees crore from the defense ministry inclusive of 18% GST, on September 5 and had an order book of Rs 72.29 crore on August 31. As of June 30, the order book stood at Rs 542.00 crore. Delta Corp shares hit a lower circuit on September 25, as investors dumped the stock after the casino operator received a massive tax notice of Rs 16,822.00 crore. The claim by the tax department is 3.5x Delta Corp's last closing market cap, and more than double the company's last decade's revenue. The tax notice also wiped off 700 rupees crore from Delta Corp's market cap within 30 minutes of trade. Meanwhile, the company is gearing up to fight the tax notice. The company said in its exchange filing, the amount claimed in the DG notice is inter alia based on the gross bet value of all games played at the casinos during 2017 to 2022. Demand for GST on gross bet value, rather than gross gaming revenue, has been an industry issue and various representations have already been made, to the government at an industry level in relation to this issue. Shares Deep Industries were up 5% on September 25 after the company received the letter of award from Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. The company has received LOA for charter hiring of HP compressors at GCP Jeliki, Assam, for a period of three years. The total estimated value of the said award is approximately 108 rupees crore. The company shall provide HP compressors comprising two running and one standby unit. The said order is to be executed in three years from the date of mobilization. Shares of Strides Pharma Science gained 6% on September 25 after the company's subsidiary received approval for its cardiac drug from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. 
Strides Pharma Global PTE Limited, Singapore, a step-down wholly owned subsidiary of the company, has received approval for icosapent ethyl capsules 0.5 gram and 1 gram from the US FDA. Icosapent ethyl capsule is a prescription medication used in conjunction with other medicines like statins to reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke and heart issues in those afflicted with cardiovascular disease. The product complements Stride's range of approved soft gelatin capsules. Shares of Relegare Enterprises slump 6% as Berman's announce open offer at 13% discount. The offer price for each equity share is 235 rupees, amounting to a total consideration of up to 21,159,990,7135 rupees in cash. MB Finmark Private Limited, Puran Associates Private Limited, VIC Enterprises Private Limited, and Milky Investment and Trading Company have jointly announced an open offer to acquire up to 90,042,541 fully paid up equity shares of Relegare Enterprises Limited. All four entities belong to the Berman Group and currently hold 26.52% of Relegare Enterprises' outstanding equity share capital. According to the Market Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India, an entity buying a 25% stake in a listed firm will have to mandatorily make an open offer. Palash Securities Limited in daily time frame is trading around 123.20 points with a change of 19.96% and is trading with a net volume of around 36.167 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 107.80 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 77.41. Sonu Infratech Limited in daily time frame is trading around 74.90 points with a change of 19.8 for percent and is trading with a net volume of around 279,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 55.35, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 83.02. Williamson Magger & Company Limited in daily time frame is trading around 26.30 points with a change of 19.82% and is trading with a net volume of around 108.093 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 22.15, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 79.84. For stocks to watch, we have. Equita's small finance bank looks good on current market price of 85.5. It can be bought at 86 rupees keeping target of 90 rupees with stop loss of 82. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.